implement a timer correct now i'll say timer with what whether it is millisecond and second millisecond seconds and minutes millisecond seconds minutes and hours milliseconds minutes hours and days you haven't asked that question correct so all welcome back to uncommon geeks myself fasan i hope you all doing well in case if you are seeing me for the first time on the internet i am a content creator i help people to clear their interview i have created a lot of beautiful series in the past which has been appreciated by many i'll try to put that on the screen also in the description section if you are preparing for the interview please go ahead and watch all the series okay without wasting further time let's get started so as you saw in the thumbnail i am going to discuss few of the most common interview mistakes that are generally done across lot of front end developer interviews okay uh, if you put together the interviews that i've given and the interview that i've taken i've taken more interviews than i've given okay easily the number is 200 plus the it with my experience i've taken and given more than 200 plus interviews so there is lot of learning that i have uh, uh, with respect to the mistakes that most commonly candidates do which whatever i have done in my interview experience across different companies i've explained what are the mistakes that i made but along with that i also have seen a lot of candidates making similar mistakes in the interview so i want to cover all the topics in this particular um, uh, video where i'll explain you the most common mistakes that are done across the interview so please watch the video till the end so that you avoid doing those mistakes so tomorrow could be your next interview and watching this video will definitely help you to not to make this mistakes in the interview and you have a fair chance of clearing the interview okay so please watch the video till the end first point let us cover all the miscellaneous topics first okay without the non coding aspects what are the common mistakes that candidates i have seen doing in the interview the very first the battery is out of charge or the laptop is out of charge you have come to a virtual interview which is at least going to be there for one hour and you have not charged your laptop is it something that you think acceptable does it show your um, importance to the interview okay i do understand sometimes you will be out of town someone sick etc okay we understand but in a normal scenario at least you should keep your laptop charged before the interview correct so please keep your laptop charged and during the interview also keep charger on okay because sharing the screen uh, and coding real time will consume lot of battery so keeping it on charge doesn't blast your laptop battery so keep the laptop charged for the entire duration when the interview is happening okay because in the middle if power goes then if laptop charge might go at the end correct so and very first only if you don't have a charge and power is not there unnecessarily you have to see now see postpone the interview then a good interviewer you may lose and some strict interviewer might come and you may have a lose a fair chance of clearing correct that is first thing second not having a proper internet so let's say you have uh, internet bandwidth is low something sometimes it's inevitable suddenly if the internet gives uh, not working okay but if you know from the morning try to arrange a backup uh, even when the internet is working fine still have a backup it is by either connecting an adapter to the internet router so that when the power goes off it will still be there available for some more time or you also have a mobile wifi uh, keeping ready or if you have a dongle keep that ready keep it on and keep it charged so that even for the entire duration it is on with no matter whether power goes or not you still have a active of internet connection okay next joining the meeting late this gives a very 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 wrong impression to the interviewer i know sometimes you will be working in a production issues etc and the meeting gets extended and you have to leave that meeting and come here but please try to avoid any last meeting meet, last minute other meetings and try to join the interview at least 2 minutes before i generally join every interview call at least 2 minutes before and i use that time to settle my mind so this is the interview i am attending and these are all the topics that i have read this is what generally this interview could the people can ask me in the interview and my mind is ready for that so i come into that interview zone in the 2 minutes if i have a time sometimes i spend i join the meeting 5 minutes early try to come to that interview zone okay so if you join after the 5 minutes of interview started you already in a rush you are not in an interview zone you are in some other zone you are trying to get adjust to this zone by the time interview you are already in the interviewer zone so he start asking question and he'll make a mindset quickly okay so please join the meeting quickly so and a lot, a lot small other things like uh, keep a paper and pen adjacent to you don't run whenever the question is asked keep a water bottle filled because one one and half hour interview you may be thirsty if possible keep some juice rather having a water bottle so it will give you instant energy so these are all the miscellaneous mistakes but it will impact a lot in the interview so avoid all these okay now let's go to the next mistake 
This is something that I have observed very, very common across lot of youngsters, especially in the freshers interview or junior roles. Mid and senior level comparatively less. Freshers and the mid level engineers, junior engineers have do this very often. What is the mistake? Jump to a conclusion immediately and start coding. Okay. To start off, let's say I ask you one question now. Like implement a timer in JavaScript. Okay. Implement a timer in JavaScript. Start. Start the coding. Not asking any questions, start the coding. Tell me now, what is timer? For those of you who would start immediately coding this question, I am asking, what is timer? You don't know what is timer? See, timer has doesn't have an explicit definition as such. Correct? Are you looking for a stopwatch? Are you looking for a timer that runs infinitely? What you are looking for? Correct? So, uh, wait until sometimes interviewer will be ready to answer, but you are so hurry that you are not listening to me. Something flashed in your mind, you started. And after writing half, you realize you don't know fully. Then you again bug the interviewer. Interviewer will not be in the mindset to tell again because half of the time is already gone. He will know you definitely will not clear uh, solved in the remaining time. Correct? So, what I want you to do is whenever such questions are asked, be patient. Wait until interviewer ends his last word about the problem. Till then, don't ask questions. First, let me let him explain everything that he is aware. Correct? He or she is aware. Then, once after we, they ask all the things, try to note down, whether in paper or pen, on your mind, like implement timer. So, what he is telling us, stopwatch. So, first, stopwatch. With options like start, stop, pause, resume. Functionalities, okay, that he already explained. So, you note that down. Note that down in mind or somewhere, okay. Uh, next, he says, uh, start, stop, pause, and resume has to be implemented. He says, no importance for styling. Note that down, importance for styling. So basically, he's looking for a functionally working code, not a design perspective code, correct? So all these things to get, get to get the from him. So everything that he says or she says, listen to it carefully. Don't jump to coding until they stop saying something. Listen to everything that they say. Okay, this is very, very important problem. Don't be impatient in interview. Be very patient. Listen to every aspect of the things that they're saying in the interview so that you understand the question fully. Then only you have to start coding. Coding is not the thing. Understanding the problem is very, very important thing. Okay, now let's go to the next mistake. Next mistake that also I've very commonly seen in the interviews, not asking the right questions. This is very, very important. You need to ask the right questions. What do you, what do you mean by asking the right questions? Stop, watch the timer one, whatever I said, right? You started with this, correct? Now, what is the right question? So you have four buttons, start, stop, pause, resume. Now, he might have said on click of start, the timer is started. On click of stop, the timer is stopped. Pause and resume, you know, whenever it is like paused at a point, on click of a resume, it is resumed. So you listened it. So have you asked the right questions? What is the right question? Let's say you clicked on start. Okay, then you click on resume. What will happen? Did you ask it? No. Let's say you click on stop. Then you click on pause. What will happen? Some things might be explicit to you. Okay, but still you need to ask in the interviewer because it may not be explicit in his, in his mind. Correct. Let's say something after stop and the pause is clicked. He may expecting let's show some error. Don't click pause when stop is on. You are thinking nothing should happen. Correct? Because already stopped, you cannot pause the timer. So don't imagine anything. Ask every aspect of unknowns to interviewer and get the clarity. Sometimes interviewer will not know. He said, I ignore this case and continue. That is good for you. But if you don't ask, then he will say, you did not ask. Get it? Don't give that chance to interviewer. So do these things properly. Ask all the possible questions to interviewer regarding a particular concept. So uh, don't start coding. First, listen to him carefully. Then analyze the problem. Try to relate it to your real life. So what are the possibilities that can happen? Ask all the questions, get a proper confirmation, then start. See, now I said you a few questions. Now you think, okay, you understood. No, still you haven't understood. Why? So you, they ask you to implement a timer, correct? Now I'll say timer with what? Whether it is millisecond and second, millisecond, seconds and minutes, millisecond, seconds, minutes and hours, milliseconds, minutes, hours and days. You haven't asked that question, correct? So each of this, there's a different logic. Seconds and minutes is different. Minutes and hours is different. Correct? So you need to ask that. 
get it so no matter how much you think there could be something that could be that can miss but be very vocal and ask all the possible question that comes to your mind interview will not be unhappy suddenly if you ask in the middle that is still fine but majority should be asked in the beginning only so that you are a good problem solver that creates the impression you are a good problem solver okay who is a good problem solver good problem solver is the one who knows the problem properly correct unless you know the problem properly you will not be able to solve it correct so this is about the third point or whatever the, how many how many at the mistake that we are discussing now let's go to the next mistake this is again very common mistake that also i have seen is committing for a lesser time than you can solve a problem okay let's say the same problem stop watch if i have been an interviewer i'll tell can you complete this in 15 minutes okay actually is a fairly easy problem candidate can complete it in 15 minutes so some will say yes some will say mm, some will say yes some will say i'll try okay so whenever you say yes 15 minutes is something that is defined now interviewer will not be in a mind to give you more time than 15 minutes but in case if you are someone who hasn't solved this problem so you are not so sure how long it is going to take but with your fair estimate of coding different things you will tell i may need around 20 to 25 minutes so is it more interviewer definitely it is more than what interviewer is expecting will he say no that depends depending on whatever the question that he has piled up but when you are explicitly saying you cannot do it in 15 minutes he cannot impose on that correct at least he can try giving okay 20 minutes huh? you use 20 25 minutes he'll say okay try it can you try to do it in 20 minutes he'll try to squeeze in some time for some problem he'll try to give that 20 minutes to you so you should be uh, i don't know i don't exactly you cannot give but at least you should be fairly confident to that time because some 5 minutes of other question is coming taking and giving here so you should use it utilize it well and try to solve the problem correctly so that he'll give you full marks so don't undercommit so try to commit to a time that you think fairly possible for you to code so this question 15 minutes is a typical time you can ask up to 20 or 25 minutes if you are a beginner or a uh, junior level okay now let's see the next mistake again this is this is not very common problem but most still doing this so let's say what is the problem is not writing the crux in the beginning okay let's say i ask you to do this if you are whether you are from react react native view background most will be using redux so my question what i'll ask is can you implement a redux counter where there are two buttons plus and minus on click of plus the counter increments on click of minus the counter decrements the counter value is stored in redux okay very simple problem okay where you just have to you don't have a lot of things to implement only only basic state management are you able to do or not is a interviewer intent so i i give you this question okay two buttons counter value you have to on click of increment counter is increment on click of decrement counter is decrementing counter value stored in redux okay what you will do if you know something please add in the comment section first thing that comes to your mind what people do most commonly that i've seen in the interviews they start by creating a increment button decrement button increment function decrement function then calling that function from the button all these things and uh, after doing all this they will go to the redux part what is the mistake you did you only think what is the interviewer expectation does he worried can you create increment decrement button and call the function or not most possibly every every candidate will be able to do that he is more concerned about the store part how you going to create the redux store how you going to create actions red users how you going to uh, call the increment decrement function in the red user correct he is more interested in that so start with the crux of the logic don't start with the something that is even a college pass out can do okay so try to do if you are a mid or senior level you are applying for interview try to do the crux for example i'll i if question was asked me i'll create a folder called store inside that i'll create a file called store.js inside that i'll create a folder called reducer.js then i'll create some actions action creators finish the uh, reducer logic fully then come to the ui let's say you are not able to color your button who is bothered as long as interview stays like let's say is more bothered on the style okay but most interviews is on functional driven um, so and ui already know there'll be rounds like machine coding where ui is stacked so these are all the rounds where the functionality is given important so finish the crux first then come to the ui part even if you are end up not creating a beautiful ui crux is working interview is fine because it's a functional round are you able to code properly with the functionalities so he'll be most happy and he'll give you full marks correct so these are all the things which are very common mistake that i've seen in the interview and don't do this in the interview okay so be very patient ask all the inputs properly ask right questions to the interviewer 
and all the miscellaneous things i said keep your laptop charged keep your uh, internet connectivity ready keep a water bottle alongside paper pen alongside all these things okay there is few more mistakes that i have seen that most commonly done in the interview that is a, i want to discuss that in part 2 but that i'll do only if you like share and subscribe to my channel so if you if you're liking whatever the content i made so far please like the video see how long it will take to like the video correct if you like the video it will be very very helpful for me because lot of my impressions of my video will increase many people will see the video it will be helpful for me do not forget to comment let's say you think these mistakes you have done please comment if you are not making the mistakes you, I, this video could have been improvised please comment that in the comment section that will be helpful for me to improvise further correct and do not forget to subscribe to uncommon geeks if you are not already done please subscribe to uncommon geeks okay thank you so much for watching catch you in next video